Hi guys, um, my name is Linda, and I'm going to be doing Melissa's voiceover. Um, I know a lot about makeup, but I really don't know sometimes what she does. So let's see how this goes. Please subscribe to her channel. It will mean a lot. Okay, here we start with a moisturizer. And I don't usually do it with a brush, but she does. And it looks good on her. And now she's going to do a primer. In my opinion, the best primer out there and pretty cheap. And she also put it with a brush. But I prefer to do it with my hands. Here she's using a blur for her pores, which is really good. And she's going to place it on her T-zone because she can be a little greaseball sometimes. And here she's putting her foundation. She uses the Beauty Blender and she can never wet it. So she's always asking people to wet it for her. But yeah, it is a wet Beauty Blender and she's using it to apply her foundation. And she also likes to use the brush. And here she is talking to herself, I think. Yes. And she is make sure, making sure she's blending that concealer. Plenty. Plenty of concealer. I can really say that her favorite item of makeup is concealer, as you can see. No, she's not going to a costume party. She's really doing her makeup right now. Make sure all that is blended. And now it's pretty blended. And she uh, she's just making sure the edges are a little diffused. So she's putting more foundation. And over here, she's putting the powder to set the concealer. And she's going over with a brush. And she's jamming to her music, even though you cannot hear it. She's looking a little pale here, but don't mind her. She will, right now, contour and bronze. And can you guys give her a thumbs up for that background? Yep. Love the background. Here she is, bronzing her face and usually you put it on your forehead and whoa you get it girl and you can apply in your cheeks and in your neck making sure everything is nice and blended let me get a sip of water first make sure I'm hydrated holla okay here, what is she going to do next? Um, okay, she's, oh, she's using hula. Now she is contouring, and she's using a fan brush, and now she's using a contour brush to, yep, the It Cosmetic. Yep, we can see it. She's using that to contour. And now she's going to make sure she looks nice and rosy with her blush. And she's applying that with a Real Technic brush. Very nice. Love me some rosy cheeks. Now she's using the Carly Bible palette, one of her favorite palettes. Ooh, excuse you. And now she is going to highlight. She's going to place a highlight on the top of her cheeks where the light hits you naturally. And Melissa prefers to use gold shades highlighters and you can see she is yamming to her music and here she is putting more highlights 
and now she is using a physician formula powder she hit pan as you can see and where she's gonna place that let's see she's going to oh she's gonna bake yep she's baking making sure that contour is clean yep very nice and now she's doing her eyebrows she prefers um pencil for to do her eyebrows and i can say that her eyebrows always look really nice looking around looking around yep now I think she's looking for a sharpener. Yep, and she's whistling. Yep, and she is looking down. And now she's gonna clean her eyebrows, making sure they're nice and clean. And now we are going to do the other eyebrow. Making sure everything is nice, blended. Very nice. And now she's gonna set her eyebrows with a gel. And I believe that's a CoverGirl um, gel. Brown, so it gives you a coverage. And also set your eyebrows so they stay in place all night. Now she's putting eyeliner on her waterline. Other eye and a little bit on top. If you close your eyes while you're doing this, it's easier. Okay. And now she's gonna do her eyeshadow. And for that, she's going to be using the Peach Palette by No Face. And she's going to be using those two as a transition shade. And she's going to place that in her outer, outer V in her eyes. And make sure it's blended. They usually, you usually use a transition shade so the color are more blended and they don't look as harsh and that's what she's doing now and she's just going from the outside to the inside of her eyes and she's doing her other one making sure it's nice and blended I really like that combination that she's doing. She's using a like light brown and a peach color. And she's doing it from the inside, the outside of her eye. She's covering all her um crease basically. The entire crease with this transition shade and as you can see she's leaving the middle of her eyelid without eyeshadow let's see what color she plays there hello Melissa we're here there she is Okay, continue with the eyeshadow. She's placing more, making sure it's nice and blended with the with the blending brush. I really like this look she's going for. It's a pretty natural neutral um look now she's taking a little bit of 
the blush that she used for her cheek and she's um using it in her crease I believe to um deepen the color yeah that's something you guys can do you can use your um blush as an eyeshadows also and now she's placing that same combo in the bottom so it can tie together the top lid and the bottom one and I believe now she's going with a darker shade making that crease even darker making sure that she doesn't touch the middle of her eyelid you see the difference between that eye and the other one is a little darker. You always start with a light shade and then you go. You can make it darker as you go if you prefer. If not, you can leave it light. But always you start with a light shade and go and you make it darker as you go. Here she's doing the other eye. Ooh, that's a nice shimmery one. Now she's placing that shimmery um, eyeshadow right in the center of her lid. What also it makes your eye look bigger when you place um, a lighter color in the middle, in the center of your, of your eyelid. And if you want this to pop more. And look more vibrant the color you can wet your um, brush with a little um, water or even fix plus if you like now she's making sure her other eye is looking similar to the other one they're never gonna be perfect I love that eyeshadow. I wonder if she's gonna use that as her inner um how do you call it? Highlighter. Now she's going for a MAC eyeshadow, but let's see what color. Ooh, more shimmer. I love this kind of eyeshadow. You never want to use a shimmery um, eyeshadow as your transition shade. Now she's putting here her uh, mascara. And I believe that's her It Mascara Superhero. And now she's using her other mascara by Too Faced. And that one is waterproof. And she likes to use waterproof on her bottom of her eyelashes because she tend to her eyes water a lot. And now she is putting her lipstick and I believe this is a NYX combination that she did here. Very nice. I love that combo. Okay, here she's finishing her lipstick. I hope you guys enjoy this um, voiceover. Um, thank you so much for watching Melissa's videos. It means a lot for us and have a great night while Melissa finished her lipstick. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I want this peachy goldish look because I got the new Sweet Peach Too Faced palette. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. I love it. I highly recommend it. I got it a week ago and I have not put it down. I have gone to work every day. This is the only palette I have used. I have done so many different looks already. I can't wait to keep filming with it. I highly recommend it. The pigmentation is a lot better, in my opinion, from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and Semi Sweet Palette. I have the Semi Sweet and I have the Chocolate Bar Palette. The Chocolate Bar Palette is definitely a holy grail for me. The Semi Sweet. I can live without. I do use it, but I, it's not as good as the chocolate bar or as this one. I don't have the bottom bottom palette, but I will be getting that soon, hopefully. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like, please comment and subscribe. 
please write down any recommendations you have for me to make future videos in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.